Well, we've got a lot of ash um, along the river here. Uh, we've been doing a lot of removal of exotic pest plants and um, in inevitably, though we keep the big logs and so forth for habitat, there's a certain amount that needs to be burned. Um, out of that, we can get a really good fertiliser that can go uh, back onto the agricultural land. We have some quite big bonfires, but we try to keep them fairly slow, so there's a fair bit of charcoal left in them. Charcoal's really beneficial to soil, um, but this is just a matter of, hey, we've ended up with a big ash heap with bits of wood in it and rocks and what have you, and we need to have it made into fertiliser. And we've made this very simple machine with um, a screen, it's just a 25 mil screen. Um, we've hung it up in a tree um, and we can pour the ash through it. But fairly powdery kind of gear um, that's got a bit of uh, earth in it, but it's got lots of charcoal and it's got lots of ash. So why is the ash so important? Well, it's got a hell of a lot of calcium in it, which is absolutely wonderful for plants and good for your soil. It, it helps to actually um, open up your soil and it's an essential plant nutrient. There's also lots and lots of potassium, which is incredibly important for particularly berry crops, but in general, all other plants as well. Then there's heaps and heaps of micronutrients and there's that charcoal. You can spread the ash by hand or machine. In our case, we have the wood ash blended with compost and spread in the orchard at the rate of about 100 grams per square metre. So don't regard ash as waste, it's a really valuable fertiliser.